think, yeah, we're squared. We are squared away. We are squared ass away. Let's get saucy. Let's get crazy. Let's go stupid. Let's make mistakes. Let's regret everything that you've ever done. Let's regret everything I ever done. Hoi, 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 hoi. So far, let's get into. Wow, I run almost 200 miles. Okay, according to the game, I've. Okay, according to the game, I've run almost 200 miles since I started playing this a year ago. Good evening, bitch. Kind of weird to start off the uh, day with some of that stuff. And here we go. Alternate bringing your knees up to touch the ring con. Be mindful of your body and stretch within the range of your ability. Last time. All right. Good. Next is the heel lift stretch. Bring the insides of your ankles up toward the ring con. This stretch can help make your hips more flexible. Last time. Yes, just like Ooh. that. Next is the back straightening stretch. Take a big step forward and drop your hips. Focus on lowering your body without putting too much weight on your front foot. Be sure to keep your lower back straight. Let's do one more of each. All right, good. Finally, spread your feet. Raise the ring con above your head and lean to the side. Focus on leaning to the side without bending forward. This should stretch both the muscles in your sides and in your arms. Let's do one more of each. Great job. The phantom registration. That's the only thing I don't like about this. This thing is definitely, that feels more sturdy than the package Joy-Con, but the only thing about this is it is really sensitive. I've gone on my two hour elliptical run already today. So this is supplemental to that. But I've also been a little congested today. So I'm just a wee bit winded. Just a wee bit out of sorts. The enemy's color and select your skill. Oh, over to Poppy. Punch it. Okay, let's move. While breathing in, relax the radio. Excellent. The atrocities against animals are not condoned are not condoned in this stream. Okay. I need to make note of this. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna get 
Yo, I gotta say, I just think it's a beautiful day today. Like, I haven't done a lot of work that I should be doing on some stuff, but I've just been in good spirits today. Fantastic. I've been... actually been active for a change. Proactive about a lot of my normal daily routine stuff. I was actually able to push through my daily routine stuff and then reward myself with, you know, slouching about a bit. Granted, I probably should have been working on a video or two. But, regardless of that, Work. Wonderful. I've at least been getting. Very nice. I've been kind of enjoying a relaxing day for a change. Nice. I hope everybody up. else has been having a good day too. Awesome. Great. You know we're. Oh, that's funny actually. Okay. I just realized today is a uh, tax day, in the, at least in the U.S. Today is tax day. <laughs> Although I think taxes are now, you can now do your taxes a little bit past the normal tax day this year just because of obvious reasons. I think that's still a thing that's in effect right now. I mean, I have no idea. I usually get my ta I usually try to get my taxes done in like January or February. muscle in my left shoulder blade that is just pinching, or I guess a nerve rather. And it's been pinching me like crazy since I started working on the elliptical again. Knockout, let's go. Okay, double up. Double up, uh, uh. Oh. Okay, let's go. Excuse, this sorry, excuse me. Alright! Wonderful! For gimme for being really gassy. I had my lunch slash dinner a couple hours ago. Good job. I think everything's finally processing, so of course when everything starts processing from something like that, it's gonna come out and it with violence. So what's going on, I guess, what goes on with folks out there? What goes on in your world? Not a good day. Right. Even it's not been a great day. There's always tomorrow. Well nice. Very nice. 
feeling Good. if you gotta. That'll keep you going. But there's always tomorrow. Don't let anything that happened today totally ruin what you got going on for the week. Whew. Oh, sorry, that short that that nerve in my shoulder is still giving me problems. Okay, good, it's still on. So this nice. is gonna be. Why well, I can't hear the whole thing? So let me. Uh... Well, I guess I'm done with that. So this is gonna be a little weird. I mentioned it's just a little weird right now because just because of what I've done so far today. So starting off the day today, you know, as I said, well, I suppose this is why it's so weird. So over the last week, I've been to keep myself more active because I kind of lost motivation recent, uh, for working out recently but I recently just found that drive again um, to keep me more active I have an elliptical that I've been running on about two hours worth and it comes out and I think I don't know what the I don't know what unit of measurement the thing does because it could kill between like metric and not metric systems Oh, I didn't select the thing. Oops. But according to that machine, you know. Oh. Oh, fighting it. It's in. It's in. It's right here. It's right freaking here. <sighs> oh, I see I'm gonna have to order a replacement because I can't deal with this Joy-Con now. Okay, let's go. Right. Um Very nice. So according to the tracking Amazing. and the stats on that elliptical. Fine work. I'm running twenty six point two whatever that twenty six point two is. Wonderful! It can't be miles, because I know I'm not going for 26 miles in two hours. That'd be, that is... Yes! Yes! Nicely what is done. that? Very nice. Great. That's about 13 miles an hour. I know I don't move that fast. Great. So the machine must measure in kilometers. All right. Even then, that seems like much. Sure. Anyway. But... Neat. Um, yes, according to machine's estimations, I'm burning off about 700 calories every time I get on it for my two-hour stint, well which is always nice. Fine work. But Amazing. I usually proceed that workout with okay. doing a shorter workout here on Ring Fit to keep my nice. mostly, mostly everything from the sure. waist up kind of in check. You know, keep my muscles more toned instead of just letting them go to the wayside like I was when I first started Wonderful. working out. I didn't use, I didn't do any Fantastic. when I first started working out started losing nice. all my weight, I didn't do anything well that focused Excellent. on I didn't do anything that focused on my upper body strength or upper body Good. games. Let's keep going. Nice. Okay. You got it. So Most of my upper body strength got dwindled, so this game kind of helps correct any of those Come on. You made unfortunate it. things I've given to myself. 
But this is kind of weird because I've done, I've done that run already today, and I had about three hours cooldown, three or four hours of cooldown, maybe more. If I'm thinking about it. Probably thinking about it wrong. Closer to five, I guess now. But. With that cooldown, also we're going to do this a different way because this left Joy-Con does not like to communicate with the Switch. Um, things are a little bit different today because this is the first stream where I have done my morning run, we'll say, and then I'm coming over, and then I'm coming over later on the day to do a stream of Reach Fit. So I'm basically doing a double workout today. Excellent. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. All right. Very nice. Oh, it's dead. Okay, okay. All right, give me a line. One of every color, you say. Mm -hmm, to be just. But it's also kind of weird to plan around all that, simply because it's been kind of weird planning around that, simply because I've been I've been trying a different mode or a different system when it comes to my daily intakes, we'll say. Hold on, I need to, I need to check off something on my schedule, on my planner, hold on. Anyway. Excuse me. As you can tell by that. So today's been kind of an oddity, an oddity for me because I'm trying to Let's do some twists. twists. Today's a bit of an oddity because I've been, because how my diet, how my normal intake has been is, you know, when I wake up, I kind of go through my morning routine, and then I have something really small for breakfast, like a protein bar, like a singular protein bar or something like that, and then I go do my workout routine, and then after I'm done with that. I have what my effective dinner, which I used to account for as my biggest meal of the day. And then once that's, and then, you know, I go throughout my day and if I'm hungry again later, I'll then have my lunch later on, which is usually smaller in my head. I'm just do I'm doing it like that so my body has more time to process my larger meal of the day. Twist. We'll say because of how much I've eaten. I mean, you know, two hours after eating, come straight over to this and go, oh, yeah, let's do, let's do a ring fit workout. It's not like I, it's not like I ate two or three people work of food for my, for my meals because I'm a glutton. Oh yeah, that's the one I would like to be disoriented. What do I do now? Abdominal twist. Okay, press get up. So get up, everybody! Come on and shake your body. This will focus on your weight. Healer gone. Let's go. Round two. Ding ding. You should feel it in your stomach, not 
attach your arm. I was about to ask if I can do front press again, and I can. The thing is, will this KO? Front press. Okay, let's move. Engage your inner thighs as you push. Perfect. Fantastic. But Fantastic. I can't say already this new workout and eating regimen I've kind of got myself on while I've got the time off to do so is helping me a lot overall because I have more energy I have more energy in the evenings when I do a lot of my uh, video work stuff and I'm less prone to stuff my face at night because of how much I've eaten during the day because I kind of mentally go okay you had a big ass meal you had a big ass meal today, let's not go overboard with the snacks tonight. All right. Go make yourself a lunch meat sandwich of some kind if you're feeling hungry. Yes. Yes. And that's been panning out pretty well so far. Like, Amazing. when was Tag Team Marathon? Okay. Almost three weeks ago now? Yeah, three weeks ago now. So two, three weeks ago, you know, I weighed myself out of curiosity. I was at 260 pounds. Not a terrible weight to be at, but not the way I wanted to trend. But over the last week and week, week and a half that I've been changing up everything that I do and how I do it, I've been trending back down. I'm back down to 250 now. Um, and I ha I'm hopeful that if I keep on this trend, I can, I'm hoping that by the time June rolls around, effectively, I can be down to about, like, 230. The lightest I've ever been is 236. And that was basically, that was basically the very, very tail end of my diet proper for the year I lost all that weight. Pretty much. Mm, you know, there's something I didn't do. There's actually something I did not do. Let me go look at something here. We're going to do some research. And we'll do that to cool down too. I can't believe the red for Ring Fit Adventure. quick search there to see if I could find anything that was just like hey here's carrots here's where carrots are and it looks like there's no carrots that are sold in the game but carrots are hold on I see a ping okay we're not gonna worry about that um yes sorry I got, I got mentally sidetracked um Carrots are not sold anywhere in the game. As far as I can tell. So if I wanted carrots, I would have to go grind them physically. But grinding carrots seems like a... The grinding materials sounds like a bad idea. Yeah, grinding materials just... Is sound, grinding materials and subsequently levels is a bad idea. Oh boy, that didn't go very well. Grinding in this game just seems like it works against you in the long run. 
just because it makes the game too easy. Like most RPGs, grinding. Oh god, thanks. I like have to go spread eagle if I want to get it to work register properly. Awesome. Not sure if I can get the A rank on this, and I'll have to do it again. But yeah, like grinding in an RPG. Grinding in an RP. Oh, I missed. I'm too late. Yeah, I'll probably have to do this one again. Like grinding in most RPGs isn't a bad thing because it just helps you overall. Oh no, there's enough. But grinding in this game just makes it too easy. No matter what difficulty level you play on. So that's why, for the most part, I have... That's why, for the most part, I have avoided doing any grinding in this game. Period. As the cool kids say, period. D -d but, like, I'm still, I'm still going to use the uh, double item thing to help with other drinks, but I've also been avoiding other drinks in, in general in this, in this playthrough. Or, I've been avoiding using smoothies and whatnot in general except for materials, just because it feels like a cheap shot. Unless I'm going into a boss fight, then I'm going to get molly whopped in. Also, forgive the thunking and thudding. Shelving. Watch that... Watch that little one actually be the most powerful one on the bench. The bench? Yep, most powerful one on the bench. Put him on the bench, coach. He's too powerful. He's at about a 20. I need him at a 10. Okay. He's going to demolish the enemy team. I forget awesome. if this was the abdominus area or what. Well done. Wonderful. Good job. Nice. Hey, let's keep going. Okay. Come on. Yes. Yes. Great. Keep it up. Ten more. All right. Hey. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Yes. My apologies. I think when we KO'd, the feedback kind of messed with me there. Me. 
Oh man, just gaseous tonight. A lot of my, uh, a lot of my meal is currently trying to come back out. Or I guess the gas room is trying to come back out because I'm forcing it to. Okay, let's go. Bend your knees slightly as you do this. Very nice. Fantastic. Fine work. Keep it up. Okay. And there it is. Whew, yeah, I'm feeling on fire today. Feeling awake, feeling alive. Although these squats are probably gonna ruin my life. You can jump a little higher by bending your knees more. think the squat would not be that bad simply because Four. you would think a squat would not be that bad considering you go for runs now so it shouldn't affect it shouldn't be that bad right but different different muscle groups they are things. I'm just getting all schmixed up. Um, yeah. I learned the hard way that different muscle groups are different things when you're doing anything. Hence why when I first played this game for the very first time, I spent five days not doing any exercise because my, excuse me, because my, my glutes were so out of shape and sore from doing so many squats on the first day that I was Robocop walking everywhere. Mm. Out of water, okay. Quick break, quick break. Water is very important. All the controller's probably gonna disconnect itself here at some point.
And there it goes. As I said, water is very important. Depending upon how I feel in the day, I go through about three or four of these things in a day, minimum. I should say I go through about three to four. Some days I go through about six. It all depends upon how much... It's a combination of how much I've... How much I've eaten at the time, oddly enough, because my body's like, you ate a lot, drink water to offset this, please. Or if I'm extremely active or if I'm not very active at all. But lately it's been about three or four of those a day. And, like, and that's like a 40 ounce thing. Listen, man, I don't need no lucky breaks. I don't need no instructions. You know how to rock. Man. I have not seen, like, the last three seasons of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Or, like, two. I think I can read that name right from down here. Thank you for the follow. Okay, let's go. Breathe in when you lower your leg. Very nice. Nicely done. Great. Awesome. Hello. Somebody from Chile.
Can How are that. you doing this evening? Good job. Okay. God, can I even say it properly? Ah, uh, yo también. No, no soy mucho español. If, if Spanish is your language down there, I only know enough Spanish to not die if I get trapped in Mexico for a day. <laughs> Carry on the conversation. Estados Unidos, I believe is how it is. Wisconsin specifically. I am very far north. remember correctly, is the long, is it a country or a providence? One of those two. It's the long country that goes down the west side of South America. Unless I'm thinking something else. Much more than that, unfortunately. I've been exposed to the language. Well, I should say one of the languages, because I know, if I recall correctly, there's a couple languages spoken down there. I've been exposed to the language, and I have. Uh, oh, that, didn't count. that shouldn't have counted. Now turn your exercise into experience points with a victory pose. That's about all I know about it, is where it is roughly and what they speak. <laughs> Charge your squat power, but don't overextend you. Release towards the victory! <sighs> Lightly cover the IR motion camera with the pad of your right thumb as shown. Well, I am not... Please I am not a master of geography in any capacity, but I at least try to know roughly where nations are. I, I guess the phrase would be, I try to keep myself worldly knowledgeable so I don't become ignorant. Do I do that well? Nope. 
But I can say, I can at least say I try. Gold, 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 gold is money. It's probably on the other side of South America, like entirely other side, but I do have a co-worker um, at my job. I do have a co-worker who's from Belize, who moved up, who moved up here. can't say in Spanish. Thank you for stopping by this evening. Gracias. <laughs> That viewer, I want everybody to give props to that viewer, because if they're from Chile, you know, English is not a common language down there, and they spoke it enough to carry on a conversation with me. English is not easy. There are so many rules in English. I am, I am always impressed when somebody speaks English that when it's not their native language. There are so many rules to English. It's BS. Like learning a language, learning a language like Spanish, or as I'm currently doing, trying to learn uh, Japanese. Like at least with Spanish, there's not a lot of rules, other than the possessive nouns. You know, yo tu. A, a, amos, and you don't really use the secondary, but instead, like other than possessive of which of who is what, that's like the only rule in Spanish that I'm aware of. That's like the only thing difficult to recognize. It's just learning the language after that, or learning the words rather. But learning English? I mean... Throw thoroughly through the turnabout. I just used four words that have the same lettering. Sometimes, contextually, can be perceived as different words altogether. So if anybody lurking out there ever sees somebody who is not a native speaker to English and they are speaking English, reassure those people. Reassure them. Give them the thumbs up. See if you can help bridge the gap on what they're trying to say. Because they are trying harder to speak English than we are to speak any, any parts of their language.
back on that. Uh, because, I mean, I'm spoiling right now for the first time ever. I'm spoiling what app I'm using to learn Japanese. Um, once I feel confident enough that I can stop using Duolingo to learn Japanese, I may actually use Duolingo still and, and uh, reacquaint myself with what Spanish I do know. Cause yeah, I know some Spanish. Awesome. Not enough. Fantastic. Not enough, obviously, but I would like to bolster up my knowledge on that Me. and get that language under my belt. Your muscles look so happy. You know, learn a couple languages, really. I I feel like it would be I I feel like I would actually have fun trying to learn multiple languages. You know, it sounds like I'm setting myself up for a midlife crisis at 40, basically. Of, you know, there's this content creation thing I do and I love. But man, habla este en otros lenguas, lenguas tongue in Spanish. Come on, Scooter. Speaking of other languages, oh boy. Boom. I'd be sailing. It always discourages, it always makes me upset though that like, some people, for a reason, feel the need to poke fun at those that can't fluently speak the, their na the native language of the land. But a lot of times those people are trying their damnedest to speak the language. Like they're trying super hard, man. Like I know I'm probably taking the wrongest step when it comes to those kind of people. But I feel like they should almost be like, you know, rewarded or congratulated, kind of like a, kind of like when you're domesticating a dog or even, you know, teaching your kid how to say things, you know, reward them. Give them the affirmations they deserve for busting their butt trying to learn something that is alien. Hit with that half percent goal. Drink, drink, juggle up. Also falls back on me as well. Like, excuse me, I get a drink. If I were to go somewhere that I don't fully understand the language, and I would be trying my best to speak the language, but it is just—it's more broken. It's more broken than a disassembled jigsaw puzzle. I would expect the people there to help me understand the language more let's like it's like i want to help all the people understand english better as well also i just remember something i was supposed to do before stream there's a i have a bit of a problem with my pinky nail right now i forgot to take care of it before i booted up stream there we go Go! 
I got carrot cake. Uh, what am I at calories wise? 160? Much like say, you know, I keep going through this, these uh, Japanese lessons that I keep going on, and for some reason I end up, I end up going on a, I end up, you know, taking a trip at some point to Japan once I feel confident enough to speak Japanese. You know, I will try speaking it while I'm there. But I would hope the people of that land would be like, oh, that's obviously an American who doesn't understand the the rules of our language. We should help him. Because he's doing what he can to learn our language. Again, I expect the same thing of people that, you know... I expect the same people who come to... I expect... I hope... I hold to that same standard for people visiting America. If I speak... If I meet somebody on the... If I meet somebody who speaks... Who doesn't speak English... I just want to go, okay, 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 settle down, settle down. You're trying. You're trying. Let me try and bridge the gap for you. I guess it's just kind of part of me that's just like, that's just thinking, oh, if the world could speak Perfect. to each other, there would be so less, much less conflict. That's kind of, Very nice. I guess that's kind of like Keep a light bulb. Because I want is to avoid conflict. And I guess if learning another language is what causes me to try and uh, uh, solve that conflict, then so be it. I'm going to try learning another language. If I get any benefits out of it after the, after the fact, okay. the better. Said a person that could say Tien Buen Noche. Or Tien Buen Noche. Damn it. Why do I always think of how to say things I want to say well after the fact that they'd be relevant? using a buff? With your legs bent slightly, I'm surprised. Okay. I think, as much as I would like to do pendulum bend, I think I should do some Russian twists again. Because twist. <laughs> I'm a Russian twist master at this point. Oh, God. My apologies. <sighs> okay, I will say though, most of my gas from earlier this stream has passed. Read into that however you will. Most of the gas I've been having has passed. I don't have a I don't have a food baby going on right now as I did about an hour ago when I started. I feel a lot better. <laughs>
um, it's not any plans I have now, but to oh, get lightheaded again. That's always fun. I don't have any plans to do it right now because I am nowhere near speaking a lick of Japanese. But. At some point in my future, I would love to have the opportunity to go to Japan, to go around in commerce areas and just exist out there. And if somebody calls me out for being for being a dumb American, just say, just say, sorry, I'm just visiting in Japanese, and maybe you can carry on a conversation. That's kind. Of, I guess. I guess I'm kind of having the same mysticism. I guess that's kind of why I want to start starting Spanish. Back when I was in, uh, back when I was in my schooling years, it's like I had like a mysticism about. I always have this mysticism about going to a country and speaking their native tongue. Yeah, going to their country and speaking their native tongue so that so I can learn from them and you know bridge gaps and in cultures and whatnot. Oh, oh boy, she's going again, huh? Now that doesn't mean to say I'm gonna be like Mr. Christopher Lee and speak 14 languages by the time I'm 70. But if that is an achievable goal, so be it. Being a being a human Rosetta Stone, that's be kind of cool. Look at me! Listen to me! Listen to me prattle on. Speaking other languages. If I was really hard committed to it, if I was really hard committed to doing it, I would have kept on my Spanish learning from years ago, or I would have actually started learning Japanese at the start of the year, like I said I wanted to, instead of starting it about a week ago. I guess it's just kind of the. Uh, nature of my brain where it gets hyper fixated on a couple things. And I have to sit here and kick myself in kick myself in the pants when something I was super excited about two weeks ago stops appealing to me. And tell myself, no, you want to learn this. My God, you are going to learn it. That could be said about just about anything now. 
few days. Ooh, lightheaded, hang on. Like we said about just about anything nowadays. <coughs> you want to get fit? Okay, you have to start and then you have to keep yourself going. And about three weeks into it, I was, I was mentally going, oh, f this. But I had to sit there and go, nope. You've dodged around getting yourself fit for so long, you gotta do it. Same goes with learning how to eat better. Same goes with learning how to do, play this game even. Like there's so many skills that I started to learn and they gave up because it stopped being fun to me. And I've just, I've, I guess now in my 30s, I've started going, Okay, but why did you actually stop other than stop being fun? If you want to learn it, sit there and learn it. Don't stop just because it stopped. Just because it's, it, it's turning out to be harder than you imagined it would be. Push on. Push through. Make the doors proud and break on through the other side. 64. Way decent mood because I'm actually. I'm gonna have to mentally rest for a minute after this one. Okay, you can t tell that, like, I'm actually in a halfway decent mood because I'm keeping up a conversation on my own and rolling through thoughts in my head, I'm not stopping myself on those thoughts. Okay. I'm gonna need a minute before I do this one. inside of me from all the ex excess water and the, and the meal it's making noise as I move Distraction. I'm actually doing that later today. Whew. All right. So yeah. That conversation aside. That conversation about wanting to learn things, me, how, why I want to learn things, and all that jazz. That's a conversation that's that's now said and done. Move on to let's move on to other conversations. Move on to other things I can just talk about what's happening this week with me. Outside of learning how to how to say uh, outside of learning how to say Tukoshi Umaneko or small seagull.
Let me do these mountain climbers first, and then I'll talk more about other things. So, actually, I should say, okay, I can start on that a little bit here quick before I get down there. So, starting off on this kind of system. So, this shirt here, this shirt is entirely too big. I had another one that I bought at the same time that was entirely too big that I took, took away. But I've currently got, like, I've currently gone through my closet and taken out a ton of shirts of mine. Minus, like, five that are way too big for me. And the only reason I have those five because I really like the designs on them. And I've decided, I decided to redo my t-shirt ensemble for the most, for, for, well, partially. I think I've got like 60 t-shirts. But yeah, I've decided to like redo most of my t-shirt catalog. that mid roll break there I finally got the pinch nerve to let go I felt like a little pop and yeah blood's kind of throwing, flowing through there again Never done it before. You've never done that before. Do a mountain climber. You'll understand. Mountain climbers are source business. Come on. More carrots. Drop your hips. Straight All right, one more. <sighs> Man, it has been cold. Like, I think there's only been two days this week where it's been above 40 degrees. Middle of April, by the way. You know, today being the exact middle day of April, two days this week, it's been over 40. Continue. But, small break to make some smoothies double money double money all right I'm gonna make one of those I want to be able to make four of those let's max that out make them You know, I've got a windfall right now. I kind of wonder if I want to take bananas and strawberries and just 
Yeah, if I want to take like bananas and strawberries and start making smoothies for myself in the morning instead of my normal bars or even have those for me full meals instead. Last one. Maybe I'll think about that when I go grocery shopping on Monday or Tuesday. Because thankfully I don't need to Thankfully, I don't have to go. I have enough food right now where even though it's been two weeks since my last grocery shopping trip, I don't need to go grocery shopping for the next couple of weeks or for the next few days because I'm going to be out of the house. But maybe when Monday or Tuesday rolls around and I go out the, and I venture to the outside world and see about getting myself a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, God. And see about buying up stuff. Maybe I'll buy myself a blender. A proper blender, not the one I threw away because it was never in use and was probably gathering mold. Oh, I'm torn. I was just waiting here. Oh, yes. Maria, yeah. Sorry. Nigel Thornberry had to come up for a moment. <laughs> You're smashing, yeah. <laughs> come on, let's run. Oh my. Ah. Forgive me. Boy is, boy is trying to make himself an A pack. Ah, so you're not locking me to specific skills. Good. I will use double money on you, but I'm not gonna use. I'm not gonna use double experience on you. Hey, anyway, first things first, the leg lift. Shirts. So, okay, let's thing, go. This will target your ass. I took the time to yeah. retire yeah. a lot of shirts. Nicely done. Good job. From my closet. Shirts that I've had for mm, say 15 years for some of them. 10 to 15 years for, for a lot of the shirts. But. I got on my own case and said, you know what? You've had these shirts for far too long. Okay. You need to get rid of them. Excellent. And that's exactly what I did. Great. If there was a shirt in there that I didn't, that I recognized I hadn't bought in like the last five years, minus like a handful, I threw them out. So they're either A, too big, or B, I've been wearing them for, I've been wearing them for so long if you think I'd be, I'd have preserved them in glass. Fantastic. All right. Perfect. Let me turn away a little bit. There we go. Excellent. Sharp. All of my leg muscle wasn't was blocking the switch from seeing my uh, Joy-Con. going strong. I was going strong. I really just got wind really winded. Keep it up. Well 
droplet of sweat that is trying to go into my ear canal. I'm not a fan of that feeling. came from the deeps. Uh, so that one. My apologies for being disgusting. Look at the vibe on this man. Look at him vibe. Lucky break. Bunch of skill and attack. I love the stupid animations in this game. From characters that from characters that don't normally, ha that don't, like, like, they have a specific type of attack, but I love the animation of the characters that just should not have attack center on that, and then they just do, and just like, oh, he vibing, he vibing. I love it. Man's, man's out here t trying to imitate uh, Shakira with all them hip hip and uh, waist movements. I couldn't read it because there's so much sweat in my eyes I couldn't see. Uh, okay. So, something, something else. Hold on. Whew. 
Oh yeah. So continuing the t-shirt topic I was I got on a minute ago. I don't know about you guys. Don't know about you guys, but like when I buy pants now, like I am very firmly, I think I'm very firmly gonna be stuck in the 36 to 38 waistband size ways. Uh, wait, uh, range. But with t-shirts, I like fluctuate. So I still have to wear double X shirts. Granted, it's better than when I was wearing, I think, 4X and 3X a while ago. But yeah, I wear, I have to wear double X. Not for the width. I have to wear double X because of the length. So like a lot of my shirts, a lot of my shirts that are double X are still loose on me. And ones that are single X, they fit just fine. But they're too short. And I think that's gonna be just a trend I have to deal with, you know, period. Because I'm not a, I am not a short boy. I am not a short lad. I am how, how the cool kids say tall. I don't tower I don't tower above all of my peers. But I tower above a lot of them. Twist. Left. Right. 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 Left. Maintain your breathing as you twist. Done. I thought I was doing it until his health was going to be gone. Oops. <sighs> Drink up. Vibing again. Look at him vibe. Be sure to stay hydrated. God, I love this stupidity. So many damage. Okay, what do we got left? Two turns left on that, which is my first ab attack. Uh, uh, Sounds like the name of a metal band. Ab attack. Make that a band. Make ab attack a band. And all they do is they write songs. Engage your inner thighs as you push. And all they do is they write songs about how you can work out your abdominals. I have just now noticed. When he gets hit, he goes full limbo.
Man, you've got a lot of help. this now. All right. Pressing firmly on the ring con. Keep squeezing the ring con. Oh yeah. Just left the skill. got three turns left. I have one turn left. So I have to do one more thing. All right. Do some leg stuff. Do some oh leg stuff. Oh my. Oh oh perdón. So much better than the other larger dog. Excellent. It gets territory. Amazing. It gets so much. It gets like. Great. It gets so much more aware of territory. It tries to guard it, Great. and that alerts the bigger dog, who Very literally, nice. if there was not a fence between you and him, would probably attack. And I get so tired of hearing that Fantastic. little dog bark. Because well I know very shortly it's going to be followed by two yeah. and a half minutes. Of the larger dog barking, thinking he's rules the box. Good job. Oh, no, there he goes. Sound set up is, but it's there. It's there and it drives me bonkers. Did you feel it in your stomach, not your arms? God damn this man vibe. I cannot touch this man's vibe. Why am I saying goodbye in Italian? I have no idea.
Terrence is your grandpa, huh? Me. Sorry. Mm. I have learned so much today about the thirst of the fighting game community, but also about characters from uh, King of Fighters that I didn't know. I just knew the characters. I wasn't aware that Shermy was the grappler. <laughs> I mean, seeing the gameplay trailer I was starting to say, it makes sense, but I wasn't aware that she was the grappler until today. Okay, let's move. Target your ass with this. Nice. Wonderful. And of course. Okay. Now Perfect. that, uh. Now over the last week and a half, two weeks, Miss Shiranui. And Shermy have been added to the roster. People are losing their mind over King of Fighters. Meanwhile, a lot of us are just like, you know, these characters that exist. Why am I told like that? Okay, weird. I had like a weird cramp in my toe. Great! Excellent! What am I? One of my not big toes decided to just curl down and stay curled down. You know, doing everything in my power to pull back up. Uh, host. Somebody hosted, and I don't know who, but thank you for the host. I'll assume that was you with the host. Because they couldn't read the notification down here. Okay. Perfect. My journey today? Be a vibe. How be your journey? Are you vibing today? Been too hard today. I see. Well, ooh, that felt good. Muscles are relaxing in my neck, so I'm getting so I'm getting tingles up the back of my neck. Sorry. Well, I hope you got a. Uh, I hope you got yourself a caffeinated beverage. Coffee, soda, tea, whatever you prefer. Maybe that'll help you through the day. And hopefully you get yourself a decent night's sleep. Fantastic. At least one can hope, right? Having a drink to keep yourself up. Maybe, okay. maybe instead have yourself Excellent. Okay, yeah, that was you with the host, okay. But yeah, if you can't if you can't stay up then you know go grab your light novel, read yourself read yourself to sleep a little bit. Feel better. Cause that'll tell you from experience. Well, I've had those days where I've only I've been running on three hours of sleep. I've gone to bed about three hours before my normal quote unquote bedtime, and I've woken up 14 hours later and felt amazing. But I appreciate you stopping by, saying hello, and all that jazz, depending upon whenever you you head out.
Hola, buenas noches. Drop your Sherlock, hips. like you big brainer. You out predicted what she would do or something like that. Excuse me. Oh. oh my. Mother, I am privy to what you're making tonight. You are making, you're making tuna casserole with a side of sweet corn. I'd be shook. I just go, I just, of course not your mother, but I just go, bro, what the f- <laughs> stupid bit that I've been perpetuating for so long, but I love how I do that stupid, the stupid bit of, ah, I love how my uh, idea of, sorry, I just see something in the back, I love how my idea of everybody, when they, when they outmaneuver their parent parental unit, just hits them with, just hits them with the basiest, most verbose tone of voice possible. No, little Guga baby three years old. Mother, I wish to have nappy time and then I shall awaken to cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. Don't, okay, if your mom's cool with that kind of stuff, go ahead. Don't make me put words in your mouth. Because I understand it to be funny. I'm well aware, because I'm the one sitting here laughing at it like a stupid idiot. If your parents aren't cool with that weird, with like weird non sequitur tonal shifts, maybe don't do it. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say in the matter, okay? All right. If she's cool with it, then go for it. I know I really couldn't do that with my mother. She would look at me like I like I'm I'm one more sentence away from going to a psych ward.
Oh, no, I get that. And I always appreciate that kind of stuff. If you can have the dumb jokes with your parents. I want to say, if I can't remember it one of these times, next time I go over to my parents and my nephews are there, I want to mention how when I was, I want to mention them that, that how when I was their age, I could not say hamburger properly, and I had to really strain to say it properly, because I would say hamburger. Actually, we still have one of our. Actually, we still have one of our in jokes going around in my in my uh, in my uh, parents' house. How uh, it was a brand name thing, but the reason why I still joke now is because when I was a kid, uh, my parents would always call me Joe for short, or for a nickname rather, and they would and they would always call. Uh, uh, sloppy Sam's, or whatever you want to call it, you know, that stuff. Oh, fun. Yeah, my parents would call. I still, I call it Sloppy Joe's once, and my sh and my nickname at the, within my family was Joe. So they kept calling Sloppy Sam Sloppy Joe's. Oh no, they, it was called Sloppy Joe's, and I started getting mad that they were called Sloppy Joe's, and they picked up and it's like, okay, we're calling Sloppy Sam's. So the whole Sloppy Slam, Sam Sloppy Joe uh, debacle is constantly okay. brought up Perfect. if we happen to have them when they go over. <laughs> like, it's hilarious now thinking back, but like, when I was six or seven, I was, I was fuming. Goddamn steamboat Willie off my head. <laughs> no, I will not do a repeat performance. Because I don't know how I made that noise to begin with. Okay, let's move. Breathe out when you close your legs. Although your story, Kasai, actually extends from the now funny joke about about females who play who play games online or play games in general, like video games, I should say. It kind of is like the uh, colloquialated. I think that's how I think I said it right. Colloquialated uh, term for for them as real gamers. I just find that funny. Awesome. Not, not your childhood, okay. not your childhood in jokes if they weren't funny to you, but just how real gamers come to be an accepted phrase for, for any female okay. who plays video games or board games or yeah. tabletop even. Yeah. We have fun here. I mean, I'm sure for you, it's probably infuriating every now and again, nice. but I would have preferred to grow up with that compared to, compared to, uh, a father who is so strict that when he tries to pull a practical joke, you can't tell if he's being so attractive trying to joke, and a mother who is very protective of you, except for like two situations that you're wondering, and you start going, I would. But, but where's my backup? Where's my plan B? Well, not grilled. 
but grill, singular, per present tense. But yes, you understand. If she fall, if she caught on, then fantastic. Okay. Amazing. Colonel. Good job. Colonel, there's a woman here at this land event. Is she even out here? Excellent. Snake, that's a grill gamer. Don't you know? They're allowed to be anywhere. Great. Grill gamer. Wonderful. What do you mean, grill gamer? Sorry, Snake. I meant girl gamer. Uh, techni technicality and jokes on the internet have forced me to involuntarily say grill gamer. Fantastic. I got you fucking weeb. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> nice. Oh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> oh, I have fun. Oh, uh, I have too much fun some nights. And keep in mind, I know better, like, right. I'm partially calling myself out by saying weave. Because as I've said, uh, for awesome. a week now, I've been learning hiragana. So I'm no better than anybody else right now when I say goddamn weaves. That'll happen, especially if most of your Pokemon are flying types. Yes. Uh, yes. well, depending upon the generation. Perfect. Most generations, the rock... Jim is the first gym, so most generations, anyway. Platinum, Keep yeah, yeah, you fart, eh, fart, yeah, you fart, you farted, nice. you farted, Rourke. Awesome. Okay. Wonderful. How sway? <laughs> How? <laughs> I'm sorry, that is incredibly mean. I apologize, but I have to ask. I realize that Cranidos is... I think it's Cranidos. Yeah, it is Cranidos. I realize that, I realize that Cranidos is dummy strong, but how slay? Hey, hey, hey. I took it too far, okay? Let's be honest here. I took things too far. Yes! Yes! I'm not a god amongst Pokemon players. Excellent. So I have no Amazing. right to criticize anybody else. Okay. I'm going to guess it was a randomizer to boot. Very nice. Because I don't think you can get anything grass or water that early. Fine work. Increase your pace. Deep. At least to my knowledge. Excellent. Oh. Five more. Okay. Great. Okay. One left. Okay, let's switch sides. I'm trying to think, like, what is available that early? Okay, let's go. Maybe cool me? God's been forever since I played platinum. Yeah, I'm gonna assume it was a randomizer. Cause the only thing I can think of. Okay, starter Turtwig, Badoo, that makes sense, Badoo is just, I think Badoo you can get just outside of that city, rare chance, but you can get it just outside of the city, Rourke's in, and Psyduck is in that forest, or is it the cave? I might have my generations mixed up a little bit. To play Platinum again. Amazing. Like as I say, like Platinum is the game that got me back into Pokemon after so long away from it. I really would like to play through it again. But I just have no way to get my team off of my uh I have no way to get the team off of my platinum cartridge. 
So if I do it, that team is bye bye a go go. Hey, you know what? You can still pull it off. Good job. Um. I think you can have a smoke ball by that point. Maybe. Take Machop to the Orberg mining area. A lot of, there are a lot of Onyxes and Geodudes that spawn there, and I think Machop starts with Low Kick. If not, it starts with Karate Chop. Just go to town. If you find if you come across a Zubat in there, or a Woobat, no Woobat was next generation. If you across, come across a Zubat, just just use a smoke ball and get out of there. If smoke ball's not there, eesh. Great! Amazing! Repel. Fantastic! Repel and go back to you could also go repel and go back to Rue 1 and beat, uh, beat up Bidoof. But remember, Repel really only works against Pokemon that, that are lower level than your lead Pokemon. At least effectively, I should say. It does work some, but not as well as if your Pokemon's higher level. If my memory is correct. Remember, I'm just speculating like crazy right now. I don't remember a dang thing about Platinum, other than Rourke was the first gym leader, and that the only fire type you're going to get in your run is a Ponyta. <laughs> That's what I remember about that game, is that unless you pick Chimchar as your starter, your fire Pokemon your fire Pokemon choice is Ponyta. And that's it. <laughs> you get no other fire Pokemon. Period. So you'll probably end up having to teach Flamethrower to Gligar or something like that. Oof, bad day. Also, hi, 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 Dino. How's it going? I haven't spoken with you in a long time. Yeah, that's what I was just telling uh, Kasai there. Is that if they're not, if they're not, uh, if your Pokemon is not higher level than what's in the grass, then there's a high, there's a good chance you'll still run to the encounter. I'm just gonna talk through this, but unfortunately, Kasai, you have unfortunately you have fallen into the you have fallen into what the internet knows as the truest combo of taunt to get body. Or for okay, lack of a better term, the more you, the more the more you show off, the more you're gonna get decimated. It's just a law of playing games online. If you taunt, if you taunt while you're playing by yourself with no audience, doesn't matter. You're gonna do fine. The moment there's somebody else watching, bodied. Molly walked. Schmixed. And most recently, dunked.
Well, you know what they say. Hindsight is 2020 in all that fun jazz. I mean, God forbid you have to restart your run. But if you do have to restart your run, at least now you'll know for fu for the future that if you feel like you're not going to be able to take on Rourke to store up, to store some Pokemon away as an emergency. That way they don't have to get KO'd and sacrificed. Something, something great or good. Excuse me. Oh, God. My apologies again. I'm positively disgusting. <sighs> All right, I just need a moment to mellow out because I think I'm gonna hit my one hour mark by the end here. Whoa, whoa not ready. Yeah, I'm going to probably hit my one hour mark by the time we're done here. But the plus side of it is throughout my day today, I have burned off. I, according to all calculations by game, by game and by tracker on elliptical, I have burned off almost a thousand calories today. Oh, he's doing a Nuzlocke, uh, Dino, Dino, sorry, getting names confused. So I'm assuming he already caught his Route 1, unless he says he's going to use his, uh, b -Duke. So yeah, so yeah, you'll probably have to go back to route. Good lord, what number are we up to on in platinum? Four seventeen, something like that. Or is it two hundreds? I don't even remember anyway. Anyway, basically go back to route one of the game and grind up on some beatups with your Machamp. And then later on against, I think, I think Zig, is it Zigzagoon? I think it's Zigzagoon who spawns, who's in uh, Gen four, as the other rodent. Did, Dino. You joined halfway through the conversation. You didn't know. Slowly return to the starting I'm falling. <sighs> yeah, I think this is probably... Yeah, this is probably going to be the last thing I do tonight. I'm... I'm running out of poop. And I'm running out of balance. Well, if I can get, if I can make you feel any better, Kasai, if you can get Machop uh, grinded back up, it does evolve at level 16, if memory recalls, into Machoke. Uh, the Machop family does have a good physical defense stat. Does have a good physical defense stat, and Kranidos is like. All of its stats are in its attack stat and nowhere else. A 
Oh, now I sit here and although now they sit here and talk about the uh, Machop line. I'm reminded that I think it was back when uh, Pokemon Showdown first started. Maybe back in Gen Six, Pokemon Showdown. Um, people had found a way to run a special, special-based Machamp. It wasn't very good, but it was a special-based Machamp, and it was hilarious because it had like it had like Focus Blast. I think it had Psycho Cut. I think I'm thinking the right one. Like, Machamp gets access to some special moves for some reason. plus calories almost 1100 so it's been a really heavy workout day I am a little seagull. <laughs> uh. have, I, have I talked enough about how I'm learning Japanese? Because I think I've talked way too much about how I'm learning Japanese. With your legs bent slightly, squeeze. I probably could do mountain climbers, but I just don't got it in to get this late into re, this late into a workout regimen. Okay, let's go. Focus on your chest muscles and press it. Nice, sharp. Okay. Eh, as long as you're not, you can be a weeb and just not be awkward about it. Like me, I'm being awkward about it. I'm scouting the. Six to seven phrases I know how to say in Japanese, like I'm a grandmaster speaker. Perfect. Well done. As long as you Wonderful. temper yourself on how much you flex about your knowledge of Japan, yeah. you're fine. Yes. Yes. Right. Thing is, I'm calling Keep myself a weeb. I don't read manga. I don't read manga. I don't watch anime. And I guess to a lesser extent, I don't read light novels either. Okay. I'm literally learning the language now because most of the media I partake in comes from the la comes from a land where they only speak Japanese. And I figure that's like a step up. Wonderful. Like professionally, I feel like that's the next step in my life, which is why I'm starting to learn the language. It is 
super trippy. Like I've said it before while I was playing Pac-Man 99. But it's super trippy when I when I'm sitting here, you know, playing Pac-Man 99 or casually see, you know, a, a tweet from a somebody retweets something from a VTuber because a lot of my friends follow VTubers now. Retweet something from a VTuber that's partially in Japanese and I go, Oh god, I can read that. Wait, that part's romanized. Oh god, I can I can put that back into cut into hiragana. Oh god. Oh, Why did that smell like coffee? I haven't had coffee today. Why did that smell like coffee? A tough one, but you can do it. I, okay, I laugh at myself on the stupidest things. I know. But you can't help but laugh at yourself when you're doing something stupid, right? Like, I went on this whole speech earlier. But the reason I am so interested in learning other languages, I think I found out, is because I would like to... Is I would like to help people who are learning English to, to, you know, better translate things from their native language, if I can. And to hopefully have them uh, extend the same offering of help if I go to their native town, or native land, and try and speak their language, but I'm fumbling. Anyway, that is gonna do it for today. And half a mile, but that doesn't matter because I ran like, ran, like, according to the elliptical, like 10 miles, something like that. Oh god, here comes the patoo! Patoo! Shakalaka! Keep in mind, these leg scissors are something that I do in my, uh, or what I do for my, my workout before I hop in the elliptical. So our standing twist. So things you do in custom set, do translate to this. Okay, so Let's begin here is what's stretching. happening coming up here. Be mindful of your body and stretch within the range of your ability. So widen your stance. This is the this is Place the your uh, on your knees the uh, and drop your hips. Rotate your left the shoulder. The the finisher to the stream. Extend your left hip joint. Is this? Ah ah! Cramp 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 cramp! In my ass. Return to facing forward. Now stretch your right hip joint too. Point your knees. We're just gonna do a quick one with that. Bring yourself anyway. back slowly. So, Saturday, there's probably not going to be a stream. Like, 99.9% .9 certainty, there will be no stream on Saturday. And stretch the front of your thigh. Because I am going out with some friends to celebrate, to celebrate their birthday. Now do the same on the opposite side. 
I may do, uh, depending upon how things go tomorrow, maybe I'll do a short Pac-Man 99 stream just to make up for the fact I won't be streaming on Saturday. Bring yourself back slowly. Stretch your left arm to the side. Keep eyes on Twitter right to figure out if I will be doing that or not. Pull in your arm and stretch the muscles of your left shoulder. Or I could also do it Sunday too. My week, basically everything after today is a little bit up in the air. Now do the same on the opposite side. Slowly stretch out, but be careful not to bounce. Yeah, today through Monday, or today through the end of the day Monday is a little bit up in the air. Bring like, yourself back slowly. I should, I should almost Use certainly right be back to, to being able to stream on Monday. Hand. While arching back your left wrist, stretch your left arm forward. But Saturday is questionable. So depending upon how tomorrow or Sunday goes, I may do a bonus slash makeup stream of some Pac-Man 99 side. just kind of tied everybody over. You can get a deeper stretch by pulling your arm in closer. But beyond that, Bring yourself did anybody have any slowly. questions before I wrap things up Join for tonight? Your hands together in front of you. Cause after this, Position I'm probably gonna take some time to go and do and some some uh, extracurricular video work. Because I have, I basically have to replay a, major, a large majority of a game that I'm recording right now. Bring yourself back for slowly. one bonus video. And your stretching is complete. Good job. And then I gotta schedule some time with two people, just have them join me for a short recording session as well. What are the basic types of exercise? Aerobic, strength, balance, and flexibility. Okay. So, didn't see any questions, so. I'm going to close this up, close it all up, shut it all down, and let's see who we can get you guys over to for the remainder of the evening, if you guys are going to be staying up, because I know at least one of you is going to cut out, is going to cut out pretty soon here to go rest your weary head. I'm not going to name names, you can, you can call yourself out if you wish. But, rest your weary head, my friend, when the time comes. And hopefully you get yourself like 12 hours sleep tomorrow. Or tonight, rather. Oh, let's see. Who is live? Looks like only one person I am following is live. Botanic Sage. He's playing some Fall Guys. So we're gonna go Ray Trey. We're gonna go Ray Trey. Let me just pop this open, mute it so I don't get any noises. There we go. Um, yes, this is a professionalism at its finest. I'm well aware. Uh, I guess if we have to do a raid message, we'll just make it a pretty simple dad joke one of, are you fallen, son? So that's it. That'll be the raid message. Um, again, keep your eyes on Twitter for either Friday, for either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. I may do a short stream on one of those days. But don't count it as the only. But don't count on me streaming much this week. This th this basically these next three days. Anyway, uh, yeah, I will see you guys when I see you. And let's throw it over to Trey.